My name's Carl Gosling, welcome back to another video. Today's gonna to be a quick one, just explaining what the screen door effect is that we experience in virtual reality. Um, it's really one for, for people that are new to VR or people that perhaps, there still seems to be some confusion over what it is I see sometimes in the Facebook groups. Um, and also a lot of people are fresh to VR still, and well, every day in fact, it's a, it's a growing, um, it's a growing industry, it's great. Um, but yeah, screen door effect. Um, the name sounds confusing, so I just thought let's do a quick video and explain it. A screen door is one of these. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen now of what a screen door is. That is a screen door. The, the outer door that you see pictured here, um, that's in front of the main, the main door, the security door, the door that you can lock. Um, and it's comprised of a frame and some netting or mesh, uh, typically horizontal, yeah, that's vertical. Vertical and horizontal lines make up this mesh. And it's a secondary door that you open, you know, you have to open it to get in and out. But what you would do is you would open your main door, leaving the screen door closed. So you can still get airflow through the mesh, but it stops bugs, random animals, or, or your pets potentially escaping. It literally puts a, a screen between the internal room and the outside world, um, but that's breathable and allows air to pass through. So, you know, in hotter countries where the, where the climate's always hot, you want airflow, you know, through your house or your room if you don't have any air conditioning, um, but you don't want mosquitoes or whatever else being able to fly through. So that is what a screen door is. And this is where the phrase screen door effect is being coined from, because if I now zoom in on that screen door, you can see the mesh that I was just describing, the vertical lines and the horizontal lines. Now, those vertical and horizontal lines are what we see in our virtual reality head-mounted displays, to more or less an extent, depending on the headset you have. The earlier headsets, the Oculus Rift CV1, the HTC Vive, they have quite a noticeable screen door effect. It's only noticeable, I'm just gonna point this out, if you have a very, very light background or scenario that you're, that you're in. Um, if you're in, for example, if you play Dirt Rally one or two, and you're in one of the snowy stages, so everything's white, you can see this screen door effect. You can see the vertical lines, you can see the horizontal lines. It's only really if you choose to focus on it if you're just enjoying the game, you don't really see it so much, but it is there. Now on more modern headsets, that screen door effect has been lessened by a few different methods. You can increase the resolution of the display, which means the gap between the pixels is smaller, and so this screen door effect is lessened because you've got the same size space, but you're putting more pixels in, which means the pixels are smaller, that means the gap between them is smaller, or you can use a different type of panel that has sub-pixels. That means there are, say, three smaller pixels making up one big pixel. And again, this is all in the same space, so the gaps between them all is lessened. That's ultimately all we're seeing. We're seeing the physical space where there's nothing between each of the pixels that's, that's illuminated. Uh, another way to do this is if you've got a big, say, 65-inch television, um, well, it hasn't got to be that big, a reasonable size television that's 1080p, if you put a Google page up, Google search page, and then go walk right up to your screen and look at it as close as you can, you can see the individual pixels. And what do, what do you see around those pixels? Vertical and horizontal lines. That is your screen door effect. Um, I'll put a picture up now showing um, a very early headset, I think it's the HTC Vive, versus the Vajo VR2, I think it is, which is, um, it's like an, not industrial, it's a commercial or enterprise level VR headset. It's, you know, six, seven thousand dollars, I believe. So not something you could buy and, you know, run Robo Recall on. But if you look at that, look, the difference between the two is ridiculous. You can very clearly see that screen door effect, you know, on the left-hand side there. And then the right hand half of the image, there's literally no screen door effect. Now, ultimately, this is what our, you know, um, our normal uh, retail headsets are gonna look like eventually. They just don't right now because the horsepower required to run a headset with a high resolution like that 
we just don't have a 2080 Ti, you know, struggles even now with something like the Valve Index. Valve Index is a good example, actually. That is a, a greatly reduced screen door effect because it's a much higher resolution. Uh, and I believe also it has three sub-pixels per pixel as well. So, you know, of all the sort of retail ones available to the public now, that does have the, the, the least screen door effect there is. Um, but, you know, to run that resolution at anything above 90 hertz requires more than a 2080 Ti, which of course most of us do not have. But anyway, that is what a screen door effect is. It's literally when you're in the headset and you've got a white background or environment like a snowy stage in, in Dirt Rally, on the older headsets, the first gen headsets, there's quite noticeable vertical and horizontal lines, just like you see when I zoomed in on that screen door and like the, the screen shot I showed you a minute ago. And when you're playing the games, you don't really notice it. You, you kind of, you know, you, you focus out of it because you're too busy enjoying what you're enjoying in the game. But that is what a screen door effect is. So I hope that clears it up for a few people. And if you're new to VR and you're seeing it mentioned here, there and everywhere, when people are recommending what headset you should buy, you know, I'll buy this one, it's got a less God rays, less screen door effect, blah, blah, blah. And so you know what those things mean, you know, it's just going over your head. So hopefully this quick video just goes some way to explain what the screen door effect is that everyone's talking about when it comes to virtual reality headsets. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that was helpful. Have a good day and take it easy.